make a small video. It's the 18th of March 2018. It's our second dose of the beast from the east. Siberian winds bringing over snow. So I thought, it's not a fierce wind. It's not f absolutely freezing at the moment. That could change later. Obviously, it's cold if you sit in your home without any heating on. But it's okay for a walk because it's not raining. It's not too slippery at the moment either. Because it's, at the moment, it's not freezing. It's blushy. I don't. I have videoed up on the hill in the woods when, when Brandy was alive. But I don't think I really have since. You can look out for tracks, can't you? Different animals here. Whether that, that could be a deer, for all I know. Somebody coming up through there. I don't know what deer paws look like. But I can't see a person's foot with it. So some sort of animals come up here without a human. There's no human footprint with the, with the, you know, there's mine there. But if you look there, there's nothing. Oh, it's a weird combination of colour when it's snowing like this and the sky is grey. We'll go up a bit higher. I've just taken a nice photo of um, Steep Home <sighs> through some bushes with the snow on them and Steep Home in the distance. Looks quite nice. <sighs> the only thing about snow, you can't always see some of dangers, you see. Hidden dangers underneath. But um, we've, we, we can go years without any snow, really. <sighs> yeah, we can go years without any. <sighs> There's the pier down there. Not a lot of snow on the beach, not really. Um, <sighs> lots of... Snow falling from the branches of trees at the moment as the wind blows. When I get to my van, I'll just clear it of snow because uh, off the windscreens it will help. Oh, look, it's magical though, isn't it? It is magical. camera doesn't like extreme heat or cold I've noticed it starts misting up the um, half marathon that was supposed to have been run at Weston today anyway it was cancelled because the council couldn't people could slip and then they could do them for injury but the 20 month members of a running club in Weston decided to run the mar half marathon anyway um, mainly keeping to the woods and stuff I just met a marathon runner he told me he said 20 of us still went out the, the marathon was cancelled. I mean, it takes weeks to organise a marathon, you know, half marathon, because signs have to be put up. Everyone's got to be informed when there's a run. Um, miles around the site. God, look at all that. And uh, I've got to protect the camera a bit, because when the wind blows, it blows great chunks of snow off. Let's go that way, I think. I usually always do this when it's sunny. I was up here the other week. Um, oh, yes, I was up here the other week reflecting 
on a different type of weather. And even the other day, I was out walking a huge hike from Cheddar, from Wells to Cheddar across the Mendips, going through Ebber Gorge, Draycott Slights near Pretty, and um, it was beautiful. <laughs> I even had to take my coat and hat off at point at some points in that walk. It was so warm. I'm going to join back over here so I can look out over Sand Bay in a minute. God, it's, it's magical. There's something very magical about the snow, to be quite honest. Um, we never seem to get it at Christmas anymore. No, we never seem to get it at Christmas. It's not actually snowing, this has just been blown from the trees. Uh, I'll just do some more photos, hold on. Who comes out on the photos? So I just had to do a diversion. I do if I see a bloke on his own with no dog. <sighs> you have to, really. You've got to take precautions. <sighs> right, we're just going. Got to be very careful here because there's a steep drop. We just have a look over at Sam Bay from here. Yeah, there we are. Look, there's some sand point over there. It's got snow all over it. As to be expected. Wells, the hills and wells in the distance are all covered in snow. Right, over and out for a minute. Right, we're approaching the fort area, the Iron Age fort. It's all the Iron Age fort, but this is like the, the main focus, the visible focus. Like I said, I was only up here, and well, I'm up here every week, one way or another. And this is it in the snow. I have been up here with Brandy mainly in the snow. Now this is the Iron Age Fort at Worldbury Woods, Western Supermare. Our second bout of snow in a fortnight. I was snowbound in Weston two weeks ago. No roads, no buses, no trains. People panic buying. <coughs> Which didn't help because lorries were having trouble getting through. Uh, even if it wasn't at this end, it would be somewhere up else, somewhere up north. So basically, people panic buying, denied other people access to food. But never mind, no one was going to die of starvation. It didn't last that long. There's somebody coming now, there's always somebody coming. I'm going to take some photos. Right, they've turned off, that's all right, I can carry on. Like I said, I was only up here the other day, videoing and wandering about everywhere and uh, and po pointing out how good it is that they've scrubbed everything back so we can see more clearly this ancient protected monument. So even with the snow, the snow outlines it quite well, actually. Outlines the ridges and everything, look. The humps and bumps. 
Yeah, the hope that defines defines things quite well, snow, doesn't it? I tell you, the only thing with Wellington boots is I have got one pair of socks. Um, you can't really this walk today would be just enough. You can't walk far on wellies; they don't really support your foot. But what I also notice, you do need two pairs of socks in cold weather. Even though I've got a big woolly pair on. I'm just beginning to feel my toes feel a bit tingly, you know, when they're getting cold. And these boots are quite, not ultra tight around the toe area, but they are quite narrow. So, circulation can't always work so well. There's two more people coming. It's funny, that's three lots of two people I've seen now. Right, over and out.